Hey, what's up guys? Today we are trying out a game called Golden Record Retriever. Or Retriever, I don't know. Once upon a time on the planet Earth, there lived a guy named Paul. Paul dreamed of space and firmly believed in the existence of aliens. Paul, who was a successful inventor, had quite a fortune. And over several years, he gradually turned his fortune into a small spaceship. When Paul's spaceship finally left Earth, there were hundreds of copies of golden records on board. Within these records was Paul's warm greeting to fellow aliens. Not long after, Paul fell ill. He had neither money nor family left, but rather just one puppy. Leaving behind a small rundown house, one faded golden record and a self-made board game, Paul eventually passed away. During this time, Paul's spaceship and hundreds of golden records were busily making their way through space. And then the trouble began. Little did Paul know that his golden records would cause problems all over the universe. In the end, Paul's puppy had to face the extremely angry alien strangers. And this is how the puppy was dragged to space to inherit Paul's last hot mess. No legacy. No. Legacy. Sorry, I didn't see a comma there. Okay, so Paul and River. Is that the puppy's name? River? Okay, so... Wake up, Terra and Audra, I see your black Audrian twitching. My name is Mansor, I work for the Cosmic Security Organization. I am also the head of Operation Golden Record Retriever, and the one who brought you here. I don't know if you have noticed, but my ancestors are also from Terra. But don't expect me to cut you any slack just because we're from the same planet. Okay. A strangely looking alien. You know what this is? It's from your vocal and friend. From now on, it is your duty to collect these golden records. But I won't let you out in the field, I never know when you might run away. I'll keep you in the captain's cabin and there, you will command your crew. Here's your first teammate, our Betty. I'll give you a chance to learn about him soon. Let's take our Betty and start the simulation first. I have devised a way for you to command the team without going out in the field. This is simulated situation. Practice using dice to direct your teammates? Okay, the problem you're facing. Practice using the dice to direct your teammates. Solution. Requirement of the action card. Action card represents an action option you can take at the moment. Click to use after its requirement is met. Show up. Shows up to three at a time. Let our Betty warm up. Uh. Okay. Our Betty. Why I cannot do anything? Click to use after its requirement is met. Let our Betty warm up. Okay, but uh, yeah, I cannot do anything. Practice using a dice. A dice. Okay. Oh. But I cannot go back. I don't understand. Uh. I cannot click a lot of things. Is this bugged or what? View faces, flip teammates card F. Well, that's not working. What else was there? 
I tried those few faces. I tried that F2, F1, F. I have pressed all the F buttons. I don't understand. Seriously. I had to hold not to click. Seriously? The die in front of you symbolizes our betty. And the 8 box board represents the field where things happen. Throw the betty die onto the board to order our betty to enter the field. Okay, so. Uh huh, face name sides. Hover to check the keywords. A new generation of multi-purpose whatever whatever Traces of minor actions There are three colors Wisdom, Grit and Ruse Up to four per box Let Arbeti warm up Good, Arbeti is now on the board Do you see the aura Arbeti just left? No Clear the trace and retreat Clear all auras and send all your dice is back to the queue. So clear the trace and retreat. Okay. You retry means you are retry means more time on the planet, so it should always be a careful decision. Of course, it will be inevitable to retry retreat if you or your teammates have made a mistake. Place auras on the boxes according to the given layout. Removing auras from the board reverts completed solution to unfinished. Leave a trace again at the end of simulation, so I place it here. Successfully resolves the situation. It should have been pretty easy up to this point. Yes, but I didn't understand that I have to hold the left mouse button because it just said click. Where you entered or Betty wasn't really that important. But from here on out it's different because you're going to have another teammate. And who is it? Mitch, a fighter in a corner. Okay. Good, nice. So Mitch Okay. He's a bit short tempered, but try to tame him well. Let's do another simulation with your teammate. From now on, it's going to be about which box you put the dice in. Let's practice with your teammates, you already said that. Okay, stand side by side. Uh huh. That's it? Oh, okay. It's easy, right? Just keep placing auras according to the action card. Let's move on to the next one. Swap places and... Okay, so if I want to swap it, I have to reset it? Yeah. Okay, so this time... Red goes here, blue goes here. I don't like resetting it, but okay. So this time, here and here. Sand diagonal. Okay. You're doing better than I expected. That's enough practice. Let's do the, the real thing. In the next station, you'll recruit a new teammate. Okay. Nate. Uh, trades green. Okay. Finish your card isn't, isn't revealed yet, but you must solve it to recruit Nate. Oh, look like looks like there's a trap. Luckily, there's a way to get rid of it. Look what's right next to the trap. Letter Betty enter and scan the house. It removes adjacent card, causes misfortune, deals in some damage when its solution is fulfilled. Mm, kick the glasses on the floor. Okay. Effect of the card. Okay. So. Causes misfortune, deals in some damage. Kick the glasses on the floor. Let Arbeti enter and scan the houses. Arbeti? Well, here's Arbeti. 
Hey, er werde dir die Fine Anything. Hm, the points to a drawer. Does he mean the glasses are in the drawer? Create this number of ores. Removing ores from the board does not reset account. Remove the drawer. Put an aura in this box. I don't know how do I do that. See, you can count on me. Uh, pick up Nate's glasses. Okay, so... Wait, this is red, so we place blue just here and that's it. Ah, yeah. oh, thanks. No problem, now stop whining. Terra Nodra, take a look at the finisher card you have just used. It says you'll get Nate. Now let's see what your teammate Nate is like. So now we have three. There is more like a team than before. By the way, you have collected two keys. Let's use them to upgrade Mitch. Sure. If you choose the first option, Mitch will also give red to the top or bottom box. This bonus is a light aura that disappears after 3 turns and doesn't count towards aura creation count. The second option adds Red to the top or bottom box just like the first option, however it creates something each time. If you don't know what black is, it's useless. Space consuming piece of junk. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with this. Looks like you don't want to allow uncertainty. Well, if you're willing, you can minimize the junk, so this might be a better option than relying on uncertainty. Huh, maybe I can put you out in the real world now. There's an SOS signal coming from Charmel Talk, so let's go there. This is a map of your course, showing at a glance the planets you can go to. For now, it only shows your current location and the next planet, Charmel Talk. Okay, so we go there, sure, okay that was fast, look at those claws, they're even bigger than my machine arm, I want them so bad, focus on the cetacean, if you solve the cetacean you will receive two packs of grass as a reward, why don't you need grass, I'll tell you after you solve the cetacean, grass reward is for solving the cetacean, okay. So basically we need green here and red here. Good. I guess the smoke bomb wasn't enough. The smoke is already starting to clear. Let's fire a cannonball to knock Kiki out once and for all. Uh, big bomber removes all cards. Uh-huh. So we got to reset. Green goes here, red goes here, and here goes this one. Looks skicky staggering. Let's tie up all her claws and tail at the end of the sedation. Complete all linked action card solutions. Okay. So we have to reset. Ah. Okay, understood. So we place green in the middle, this one here, and this one here. Well done, you have successfully resolved your first SOS request. The grass you just received is equivalent to the lives of your teammates. Interplanetary travel exposes all intelligent beings to a symptom called rejection. Rejection is a fatal adverse reaction that begins as a mild paralysis and progresses to organs stiffening and death. There is only one way to prevent rejection and that is to administer a herbal, herbal extract of grass. Without grass, your teammates cannot be sustained nor can the mission continue. So, answer SOS calls and you earn grass to make sure you don't route, run out of it. You just earned two keys at once from the previous station. I guess you can upgrade Nate now. The first option says Nate will make heavy green 
which one disappear on retry. On the other hand, if you go with the second option, enhanced Ruiz will scatter two bonus lights. Like I said, light aura disappears after three turns and don't count towards aura creation count. Anyway, the second option is not bad deal at all since the first option makes one while the second makes but this stays on the board, so I want this. Huh. Anchoring Doris is a good way to protect yourself from bad luck. Okay, next. Wait, I just got word from headquarters. It looks like your first mission has begun. Amenti, proceed to Terran Audra. Nice to meet you, Terran Audra. My name is Amenti, and I was brought aboard the ship three days after I was born to help you with your mission. Let's see what our first mission from the Cosmic Security Organization is, shall we? A golden record in the river. This mission takes place on the planet Habodon. Collect the golden records stuck in a riverbed by diving underwater. The CSO will soon turn all the planet's soil into grass farmland, and all the natives have been re relocated to neighboring planets. The Daphidum River, where the golden record is located, is deep and wide, so be prepared to dive. Check your mission book for more information. Don't worry too much, we will have a long way to go before we reach Habodon. There is still time to gather more teammates and more grass. Let's visit Hyokan first, there's cadet waiting for us. Oh damn, yeah, that's a long way. Sure, let's go to Hyohan. I hear our cadet is Audra, just like you. I hope he doesn't make a big deal about you. Oops, my hunch was right. He, he says that even thinking about coexisting with another Audra makes his Audran drop. Uh, say we don't want another Audra either. Gently massage. Uh, team meet center removes the auras from the board, causes misfortune. Hmm. Uh, let's go with this one first, I guess. So we need green and blue. Accept a crying needed needy cadet. Okay. I just I could have done this differently. Actually, can I reset this? I know what I could have done, but I cannot. Oh, on the next planet we can go to the rabbit shop. In the shop we can buy gear items to equip our teammates, as well as pellets, which are single-use items. Okay. Uh, can only be purchased one at a time, each teammate can equip up to one piece. A disposable item that applies an effect to die or box. That ring over here, somehow I think it's for me, buy me that. That's 12 doses, we already on a tight budget. If you don't buy me that ring, I won't do anything, buy it right now. Okay, okay, I'll just ask Monster for two more packs of grass. Then why don't we get the pellet too? Come on, there's only one left. Let's just buy the last pellet. Okay, choose its Vera, Roll and Shore. Good, very good. Huh, we spend more grass in the shop than I thought. Luckily, there's an SOS signal from Chengwan. Let's go fix the situation and earn some grass. Sure. Up there's a tornado coming. We can go in like this, we'll get blown away as soon as we enter. I knew this place would ha this would happen, that's why I told you to buy the pellet. If you use the pellet, we won't have to go in ourselves. Uh, so, how do I use the pellet? The house has already been blown away and our client has caught in the river with the wind, something like that. Click on it and choose a box or dice to apply it. Okay, so... Ooh, let me in first, I want to try on my ring. Okay, Roland. Uh, interesting. 
Phew, he's half out of his mind, but we managed to save our client. I didn't understood. Well, we used the grit, I understand why. Our teammates were not hard this way, but what did that Roland guy did? Okay, now we have to go to the next planet, Dian, where I detected anomalous waves. Let's send our scout drone first and hear what's going on. How do we do that? Choose an option. Scout report. I met an abandoned Kostati. It's following me. Ask its name. Circle on the planet together. Return pellet. Flick it with fingers. Gliding tree. Let's go circle the planet together. Okay, again this thing. Alright, let's let me give this young fella a taste of wonderlust. Ah, uh, too heavy. Got it. New teammates. Newborn tree. Okay. Whoa, that was pretty good recon. We gained new teammate without much effort. Oh, what's that? Something caught our radar on the way to the next planet. Looks like an outer space object is blocking our way. Let's see what it is. Outer space object encounter. Okay. Where's this? Oh, here's the space object. Oh, that's a pretty nasty mess. Still, it's an abandoned spaceship. There's got to be something useful in there. Let's search the shell. This seems ominous. Oh, damn. Ah, Kiki, he's been hiding in the shell. She's going to attack. Okay, so what should we do? Collect pellets, random pellets, collect grass. Uh, let's go with this guy. Wait, he should have created a different thing, but okay. Uh, this is... Uh, there is the blue, here he is. Collect grass, and now we need to escape, so I need green. And how do I get another green? Or do I need to collect grass first? I don't understand that thing. Grass... Uh, wait, that's green, so I can just place anyone there? This guy... What's happening there? Okay, we managed to escape, right? Yeah. Uh, we upgrade 3. Okay, push hard. Well, I think I can only do this, so let's continue. Recruitable cadet. Huh, this is going to be a little dangerous. Let's just go where the cadet is. So, the gang attacks us if we put five teammates there. Attack the gang hideout head on. Sneak in through uses two keys. Oh, definitely not. Not using that. Well, we have... Hmm... Red. How do we get this guy to go red? Okay, so this is blue, right? Uh, okay, so that's blue, I guess. But I need... Or it can be red as well. I can place a red guy here. Wait, this one is... Yeah, all good now, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, I picked up a pack of grass. So what now? Uh... Wait, I don't have this already here? He's green. That's blue. Is everyone okay? Nice, we got another teammate. Now it's SOS. Huh, the client says the dog is pretty vile. Let me in before anyone gets hurt. I'll find out where the barking is coming from. Send Terry first. Here, okay. Terry, did you get anything? Yeah, I think I figured out where the dog is. Now I need some help. Will you get three to my right side? It will make things easier. 
Uh, okay, pushes away the dice on both sides, rolls them if they move boxes. Awesome. Okay, now we just need one more and we can surround the dog with nests. I think Nate would do the job. Okay. Ah, I found it, I found the dog. What are we going to do? Catch it with the net? It's going to bite all of us off at any second. Can we use tranquilizer gun or something? Okay, so... Mm, shoot the dog with a tranquilizer gun, removes a chest and card. Yeah, I sh probably need to do that. Uh... But I'm not sure if it's going to work. When the intelligent being who joins the team and performs missions together causes misfortune. So wait, if I place one teammate there, someone gets hurt? That's the thing. Probably. Uh. Yikes, I knew it. Okay, put out the net dog. By the way, what are we going to do on our next planet? Our destination is right ahead. Don't you, don't you think we should rearrange ourselves? So... Oh, a fork in the road. This time you choose between two planets. One is the planet where you can go to Rupert shop and the other is the planet with healing station. If you want to buy gear... Our items or pellets, select the shop, or if you want to heal our teammates' wounds and have a look around, select healing station. Let's heal that teammate, I guess. They healed all wounds instantly, even for free. Now we can enter our destination with relief. Uh, destroyed after protecting bearer, let's buy that. Select a die to heal. Ah, whatever, let's buy that as well. Uh, choose its weirder the choice after protecting weirder from food wound. Uh, when moving boxes creates the aura of the previous box, let's go with weirder free. Yes, uh, let's just send me a cautionary note. I'll show it to you as soon as we enter the planet. A golden record in the river. The Tafidum River is deep and wide. There's also the danger of unended defa unidentified obstacles. Fortunately, you'll have the opportunity to collect your tea leaves, which can be used to create oxygen pockets. The more you collect, the bigger your oxygen pocket will be, so make sure you get as many leaves as you can. Okay, let's make the pocket as big as possible. Made from your tea leaves, if, you rem if your remaining oxygen reaches zero after a dive, you will be forced to exit the water and restart. Okay, so... Uh, let them eat as much as they want. Pocket size. Talk to them. Pocket size. Uh, let's go with green. They don't even pretend to listen. Well, at least we earned one leaf. Dude, one is not enough. Okay. Let them eat as much as they want. Their tries. One. Brush them off one pocket size. Ask them to share some leaves. Yeah, let's do that. So we need this guy here. Oh, whoops, I messed it up. Nice. Not really. Mm hmm. What if I push them? Still nothing. Uh, yeah, I messed up a little bit. Look, I picked one. Don't get too excited. We need more. Okay, let's try. Hey, I picked a leaf. Let's pick up the rest of the leaves. Ten should be enough, right? Ten? Can't we bring more? I hope we don't run out of oxygen when we dive later. Okay. So... Grab... Green. I can. I guess we can place this guy here. Mm. 
What does he do? I don't remember. Creates bonus for each move on boxes. Moves to the pointed box and rerolls. Moves to the pointed box and rerolls. Re crates, crates. When moving boxes, creates the auras of the previous box. Well, he creates a green? Yes. Good. Wait, didn't you say all the natives here were displaced? Who's that over there? Oh, it disappeared. Okay, I wanted to collect a bit more of those keys. Okay, so... Moves one box. When moving boxes, creates the auras of the previous box. Sure. Seems like the SO... CSO missed a few habits. Uh, what should we do with them? Uh, defeat all habits, return all squitters, select a die to reroll. Whoops, well, okay, I guess we need to try out the red thing. Moves one box when moving. But where does he move? I don't understand this thing. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. we are falling into a pit. The habits must have set a trap for us. Uh, escape habits trap. So we need a green one. So here it goes. Look, there's one of the. CSO migration ships left over there. Let's put all the habits in there and send them away. And start the ship. Hey, give that back. My name is Edgar. Who's listening? The CSO sent you, but you're not one of them. Am I wrong? Stop talking and take the grass extract unless you want to get rejection. I won't take anything from the CSO even if it means my death. If I die on the ship, I leave a simple note for the CSO. But if I survive, I won't bother. The CSO will know right away. Let's see if this is our end or our beginning. Okay. Uh huh. Mm, I guess I have to retrieve. Damn. We need the green one. Uh. Heavy. Oh, oh, that's green already. I did not see that. Okay. Well, that's not uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, good. All clear, all clear now. Let's head downstream. We have a record to retrieve. Alright, it's time to dive. So, uh, empty the queue. Escaping from the water restarts the situation and refills your oxygen pocket. Escape button. Empty the queue? What do you mean? Ah, uh, help me. It's okay, I got you. V what? Where's the queue then? Okay. Teammate bumps into each other underwater. Enter the water. Mm. I guess we can place blue here. How does it. Oh, I have to keep uh, moving them in here, I guess. Well, that should be okay. Then this. This one here, this one here, and this one, green is up there, should be okay. Okay, we're in. 
fire and a water flare. Okay, so we need a red guy and a green below. So it should be this one. Oh, there's a reflection of light over there. It must be the golden record. Uh, okay, so I need a green figure. We can place it here, I think. Surrender to water vortex. Uh, should be okay. Surrender to water vortex. Removes all cards. No. Wait, why is it? Isn't it working? Oh, it had to be the other way around. I needed green here, but he should have created the green. Moves when box when moving, creates the auras of previous box. Faster. So I just wasted a card. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, now it's blue and red. So blue right here should be okay that's already there oh i see the golden record in the riverbed it's buried in mud but i'm sure it's a golden record uh huh uh retrieve golden record i need four of those i do have four one two okay no so if i place it here it should be okay What if I place it here? Okay, still not. I guess I have to try. You're spending much time on this planet. The rejection will begin sooner or later. I can feel my hands stiffening up a bit already. Can you administer some grass? Well, it's a little early. You'll be fine before the next try. Okay, then promise that you'll administer one dose of grass to each of us on the try. Yeah, starting with the next one. Now we have to be very discreet, Terranodra. From now on, we'll have to use grass for every retry until the cetacean ends. And if our remaining grass goes below zero, this mission is over. Warning, your stay on the planet is getting longer. Grass must be administered for each try starting with the next try. Okay, that won't be necessary, I hope. Uh, yeah, let's trade this thing here. Oh, and that's it. First mission safely completed. Can now we go? I have a lot of work to do. See you around, Daranodra. Space is small. Oh, don't be sad, my friend. I'll stay with you. And now let's get ready to collect the next golden record. Okay, so... I think I will be ending the episode here and now. Uh, I don't know if I liked this game personally. I'm not that much interested in those card games, but sometimes I like giving them a try. Uh, and well, this game is kind of a card game, I guess. Uh, plus, I haven't really examined what each of the character does, so I should have done that. But I have, I didn't do that, so it was a little bit harder for me, maybe. Uh, but still, well, I managed to do that without any huge consequences, I guess. So, yeah, I'm not a card fan. I wouldn't say that I enjoyed this game, but I can see that it is quite a decent one. I have only liked Gwent, so, you know, and Hearthstone. So, I guess for those guys that like this type of games, this game should be okay. So, yeah.